Hello everybody, this is Potter Brony, and welcome to another Blind Reaction of Ruby. This time we have Volume 5, Chapter 7, Rest and Resolutions. Okay, uh, <clears throat> last week had a very, you know, heartwarming reunion, tear-jerking reunion of, uh, of most of Team Ruby. Uh, all we need now is Blake. Maybe this time we'll get a little bit of Blake, uh, see what she's up to, but I'm really hoping for more interactions between what's there of Team Ruby and, uh, and what's left of, uh, <clears throat> and what's left of Team Juniper, of Team Ranger, whatever. Alright, so, uh, and maybe some explanation from, uh, Oscar Ospin. Uh, this is a short episode, so, uh, I guess we'll have to wait and see. Well, not wait and see. We'll see right now, won't we? And starting the video, uh, as always, the link in the description below. Be sure to support the official release over at Rooster Teeth. And starting the video in three, two, one, and go. Oh, uh, that looks good. <laughs> How do you lose your map at a time like that? Believe me, I've asked myself the same thing ever since. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but you made up for it, Mr. Muscles. You should have seen this guy take a giant grim head on. I couldn't have done it without Ruby wearing it down. Uh, me? Did you see Ren during that fight? You think he was out of control? I'm sorry. I may have lost my temper momentarily. No, no, and Understandably. Out of isn't awesome. Oh. Um, Thank you. Still <laughs> out of control in a bad way too, you for a moment. Did not. Yeah, right in the middle of the party. Please tell me what that. We have it. Oh crap! Of course not. Even if I did yeah. really want to. No way! I don't believe it. Placement for the real thing, but I'll make sure to make good use of it. That's amazing, incredible, and it's just as strong. Hmm, sure is. Wanna bet? Oh boy! <laughs> Please, now's not the time. It's it's the time. Don't let her beat you. You can do you this. Don't do what Team Juniper is made of. Come on. You wear a skirt, Ruby. Why is he not cheering loud enough? <laughs> it definitely feels like the original. I'll give you that. Yep. But it does have some new features. <laughs> oh, yeah? Oh. What was that? Did she win? We ate it all. Oh, I think I'm gonna be sick. Easy. All there, the food Father you prepared Father. for how many? I believe in people? you. Oh, we're doing nickname throwbacks now. Yeah. Wonderful. <laughs> not gonna live that one down. I mean, the ice cream seems to like it. <laughs> I so did not miss you people. <gasps> oh my gosh, she really does like it. What went and warmed your heart while you were gone? Hey, you make it sound like I used to be terrible. Nah, just a lot to deal with at once. Hmm. <laughs> it's been a long time. We've all grown in our own ways. Mm -hmm. really I like this. Well, think back to when we were all at Beacon. Would you say you ever did anything foolish or embarrassing? Or do you think you were perfect? Oh, gosh. I may have been a little too gung ho from time to time. A little bit. I tried to one v one a Nevermore on the second day of school. Yeah. Well, Goddamn buffering. Don't even get freaking started. connection. Well, that embarrassment, <sighs> that desire to go back and tell yourself not to be so stupid, that just proves you're not the same person you used to be. You're smarter, or kinder, or stronger, and you're not done growing yet. None of us are. Hmm. 
Well said, Ren. Yeah, it turns out Ren gets real deep when he feels like talking. <laughs> <laughs> well, hold on. I thought I was pretty great in school. Even at the dance? When you spilled punch all over yourself in front of yes! And she was awesome at the dance. <laughs> How can six kids possibly make so much noise eating dinner? Because they're catching up. So, the Maidens, Magic, Salem, it's all true? Uh, Miss Zhao Long, is this more or less what your mother told you? Come on, stop it with that buffer, Kerb. For the most part, you forgot something. You forgot to tell everyone what you did to Crow and my mother. What is she talking about? Oh, great. Hmm. That's not a secret I thought she would give up so easily. Your mother must trust you a great deal. Uh, my ability to read right, what's the explanation of isn't without a few key benefits. Much like the maidens, I too possess a certain magical power. Using this power, I was able to gift the Bronwyn twins the ability to see more. To move freely and be unburdened by their natural bodies. I... Well... Gave them the ability to turn into birds. <laughs> Rather ridiculous sounding out loud, isn't it? Wait, what? Uncle? You turn them into birds. All right. Now oh, you're on. just messing with us. What else is new? He's telling the truth. We saw it. Yang's mom changed right in front of us. Why would you do something like that? I mean, what is wrong with you? Yang, that's enough. We made a choice. We wanted this. May I? Oh, so granting this power Of course Raven didn't tell the entire task, truth. And I can assure you it was not done frivolously. I required assistance in gathering information on Salem's plans, as well as searching for maidens when their hosts became unclear. Okay, so have you done this with others? Like General Ironwood or Professor Goodwitch? As helpful as that might be, unfortunately it is not that simple. My power is finite, and if I'm being honest, dwindling. The amount that I gifted to Crow and Raven was, all things considered, rather minuscule. You see, centuries ago, I sacrificed a great deal of magic to four young women, who I hoped would use my gift for good. So you are the they wizard. were the first maidens. Confirmation! Miss Zhao Long. It was never my intention to lie to you, to any of you. There are just some matters that I prefer to Lies of play mission. close to the chest. I believe that's how you phrased it. <laughs> yeah. Everyone has a choice. The Bronwyns chose to accept their powers and the responsibilities that came with them. And later, but then Raven had a change of heart. to abandon her duties in favor of her own self-interest. Now, all of you have a choice. If anyone wishes to leave, now is the time. There is no shame or disgrace in abstaining. Only in retreat. <sighs> I gotta say, he's Fair got on. Ozpin's mannerisms down. Of course, it is Ozpin. Yay. If Ruby sticks around, then I will too. If there's Good one job. thing I know about her, it's that she somehow always knows the right thing to do. But, if we're going to help, if we're going to keep risking our lives, no more lies. 
No more half truths. Understood. So, what now? I mean, what can we do? Hmm. That is a difficult question. One that I yeah. believe is best answered tomorrow. What do you mean? The road ahead is undoubtedly filled with hardships and peril. However, it has been far too long since you have all been together. Please, take tonight. Enjoy this moment. All right. Yeah. Some yanks sticking around. <laughs> oh! Raven? Crow? They're birds! Crap. <laughs> God damn it, Nora. Ugh. Hey, ugly. Oh, hey, it's this guy again. And hey, we haven't seen you in a while. Is Raven Bronwyn home? <sighs> you know, I've had a real bad week. So I think I'm gonna take it out on you. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> Doesn't look like he wants to cooperate, boss. <laughs> then make him. I was hoping you'd say that. So what do you want with Raven? Or did you figure that's where... Or did you find out where the uh, <clears throat> maiden is? Okay, so... This was uh, Rest and Resolutions. Looks like they're taking a rest. God damn, that... What is with the connection today? I got good. My Wi Fi fucking up on me now. It's like, this is the problem with uh, watching a stream from online. You take that risk. Alright, so. I just put that as I freaking hate that. Even though it wasn't really that bad, but it does break up the freaking video. You know, it just makes it. It's like, you're getting into it, getting into it, and then all of a sudden, just for a couple seconds, and I'm going to have to use this video that I just recorded just now with my screen capture thing, but, uh, as I usually do, because now it's going to have to be, uh, even though now it's like, when it comes back, the resolution was all that great, I'm going to have to use it, because editing on all editing in those breaks in a regular room is just going to be a pain in the ass. So apologies for the low resolution in certain parts of the video. Uh, but let's talk about the episode itself. So rest and resolutions. Yeah, it makes it... Uh, why am I not surprised? Raven made it sound as if Ozpin did it to them against their will when they volunteered for it. And then all of a sudden, she gets a uh, change of heart and backs out and blames everyone but herself, doesn't she? So, screw you very much, Raven. Uh, again, I'm going to... I'm going to believe Ozpin and, uh, and Crow here. Because they've proven far more trustworthy than Raven ever has. Now, in her own head, Raven might be doing the right thing. Actually, she probably is in her own head doing the right thing. Because, hell, that's what they tell themselves. That's what idiots tell themselves. Uh, but now she's being targeted by Salem's people. And I kind of want to see, despite how much of him, how much of an ass Raven is, I would really love to see her put Cinder in her place. Uh, 
Not to mention, he's like, okay, so there's Cinder who's got the power of Maiden, but they've also got Maiden there, as well as Raven, who is probably earned her feared reputation. Uh, so I'm wondering why they're there. Are they trying to recruit Raven, or do they know that's where the, that's where Vanal is, and that she is the Maiden? Too soon to tell. I guess we'll find out next week. Uh, as for, then it's like, so, Ospin, whoever, whatever he is, whoever he was originally, the wizard, uh, can gift people powers, but it's taxing on him and it draws from a finite amount of magic that he has within him already. So I guess it doesn't, it's not like uh, Aura where you use it up and eventually you'll gain your strength back. It seems that there's a limited pool of magic that he can draw from. And when he created the Maidens and now it's confirmed, They've never it's it's been pretty much known this entire time. A lot of fan speculation, but it's been as far as I've seen, been pretty much agreed upon that Ozpin is the uh, is the wizard in the old story. Uh, well, now that's confirmed, isn't it, folks? And it is confirmed one hundred percent because even though we see that they transform into a raven and a crow respectively, they always show it like like the crow zipped behind a broken piece of rubble and then came out and then it was crow or the raven same thing with a tree split second break and then there's raven so you never know it's like eventually they could have said no it's not really them but it is them they can transform into that uh i have heard is like and i was watching a bit of uh of murder of birds stuff and theories and stuff like that, uh, and I'm kind of liking his, and I'm kind of liking the theory that he put for maybe that he didn't put put it forward, but there's a theory going around that crow and raven are the two birds, are the two uh, birds of the All Father of Odin, and that Ospin is Odin, kind of. I don't know he's supposed to be the Wizard of Oz, but there could be multiple things there. I'm liking that theory, uh, because yeah, Odin had the two birds that that saw for him, just like they explained here. Like they see for him, they look out, or when they both work for him, that's what they did. They were his eyes, so to speak. Uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing where it goes from here. This was a nice little break in the. Uh, in the sadness and the tear jerking stuff, it was just a nice, good, fun episode. Uh, I like seeing that every now and then. So, hopefully, you enjoyed that as much as I did. I want to thank you all for watching, and I'm going to end this one here. Until next time, take care.